Welcome to our three-part series on factoring quadratic expressions. This is part one, where I answer the question, why is this even important? The quick reason is that it makes it very easy to find the x-intercepts, and the rest of the video will be showing you how it does that. Begin with this expression, y equals x minus 2 times x minus 5. Many students will be familiar with FOIL, and what I'm simply going to do is multiply these two terms together. x times x gives us x squared. x times minus 5 gives us negative 5x. Negative 2 times x gives us negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 5 gives us plus 10. Remembering that two negatives, when multiplied together, give you a positive number. This simplifies minus 5x minus 2x to become x squared minus 7x plus 10, which will be a very familiar form of a quadratic expression for you. The question is, why would we want to convert something like this backwards into this? This being the factored form of the equation makes it very easy for us to figure out where the x-intercepts are. Much easier than in this, what's called the standard form of the equation. When, whenever possible, we try to factor these expressions because it makes it easier to work with. The question I have for you is, what makes something an x-intercept? The answer is, all x-intercepts lie along this axis, the x-axis. That's what makes them x-intercepts. They're intercepting the x-axis there. And what all of these have in common is that the y value at that point isn't 1 or 2 or negative 1 or negative 2 or anything like that. The y value for all of the coordinates along this line have y equals 0 y equals 0 for all coordinates that intercept the x-axis. And to find where quadratic expressions intercept the x-axis, we simply set y equal to 0 and solve for the values of x that satisfy that. In this case, whenever this expression equals 0, the x values that satisfy y equals 0, or that satisfy this equation, happen to be the x-intercepts, because y equals 0. In this case, because we have the factored form of the equation, it's easy to see when this equation would be 0, or when this side of the equation should be 0, I should say. When x equals 2, this side of the equation, x minus 2, x minus 5, becomes 2 minus 2 times 2 minus 5. 2 minus 2 is 0, and 2 minus 5 is negative 3. But anything times 0 is 0, and that gives us, or y is equal to 0. Long story short, when x is 2, this expression is satisfied. When x equals 2, y equals 0. When x equals 2, this term becomes 0. And it doesn't matter what this term is, because anything times 0 is 0. And what makes something an x-intercept is that y equals 0. Similarly, at x equals 5, we also have a y in, or an x-intercept, because 5 minus 5 is 0. Doesn't matter what this becomes, because anything times 0 is 0. And that's why this particular expression has x-intercepts at x equals 2 and x equals 5, which on this particular graph would probably lie here and here.